Yeah, I don't think it could be stressed enough how important strong families are to the strength of a nation, you know. Uh, the family unit was given to us by God, you know. He he obviously placed us in our families. He even, you know, whenever he's talking about divorce, he said a man, you know what I mean, uh, shall leave his father and mother and be joined joined to his wife, and that shall become one flesh, you know. And you you look you even look up the the you know definition for a family, you know, it's that unit, the husband and the wife, the children, you know what I mean. And then you got grandchildren, you know, and it talks about how blessed the person is that their quiver's full of them, you know. And the families are under attack in our in our nation, you know, and there's literal political ideologies that literally set out to undermine the family unit because they know that this was the strength of a nation. You know, a lot of people see wealth and riches as a lot of things I've always seen wealth also being, you know, not just money, but wealthy people have big family get togethers. That's rich. You know, riches to you, you know, where your treasure is or your heart will be also. Where do you, what does your heart want? Does your heart, does your heart want to be sitting in this living room full of cash, cash flowing around you? Or would your heart want to be sitting in here full of your families, the grandmothers, the grandchildren, the children, and all these kind of things, you know, that's, ain't that what we truly desire after, but we're, but we're taught to chase after riches and wealth and success and these kind of a things but then you wake up and you realize years after chasing this and you stop and you go wow i forsook all all this good that god had given me these family and all this to chase after stuff that has no value you know i just really find you really find something in our nation to where it seems that uh people truly uh a lot of, a lot really do worship the created over the creator and they they won't they put a lot of these these a lot of value over a lot of value on on things in this land and you know what i mean the things the created over the the true you know uh, god and you know humans that are created in the image of god and this kind of a thing so anyway he just we I, I believe, you know, like it says in the, in the Bible, the blessing of the Lord makes rich, and he adds no sorrow to it, you know. And, and like I said, uh, I don't know how you can enjoy true riches being isolated away from, you know, whom God created us to be in, you know. So anyway, we're even told in the New Testament that uh, if a man does not provide for his own, he's worse than an unbeliever. He's worse than an infidel, you know. So, um, and I don't think that's just talking about children and things like this. It's, it's grandparents, you know what I mean? Us looking out for the elderly and things like this. You know, God, he give us uh, the um, one another for that kind of thing. You know what I mean? It's kind of like, oh, they're they're changing our diapers when, when, when we're young. But when they get old, we have to be there for them as well, you know. But um, I don't know. I just, I want to continue to, you know, enjoy what God's given us and bless and promote the family family unit because uh it's given to us by god and it, his ways are higher than our ways and um you know i know that individual individuality it's a it's a beautiful thing as well but it's much better shared with your with your uh, family and to me i was even thinking about like big families that have been together for years and years and years if you get if you know big family man big families and things like this you see where the work of God has been, you know what I mean? The fruit of the Spirit has been at work. The love, the joy, the peace, the patience, the gentleness, the self-control. You know that these people have overlooked a lot. They've forgiven a lot. They've been been there uh, for one another and, um, you know, had to really, you know what I mean? But if, if a lot of people, they just, they can't handle going through stuff. They don't have that grace in their heart, the forgiveness and things like this. And it turns to bitterness, you know, it's the bitterness that leads us to isolation and things like that. But, uh, See, I, I was that that to go along with that earlier. I was thinking, you know, we, you know, sometime we might leave our family. It's easier to I don't know why how this goes with, but it's easier to change your image than it is your heart. You know, we we leave and it's like, well, this family, this ain't my family. I want to go and you go and change your image. You know what I mean? You change your image, but but the heart's still hard. You know, I think about that. There's a many of people like actors. They could go out and sell themselves. I've seen people. I was talking to my wife about this yesterday. You can go out and all of a sudden someone's image i've seen that someone would be like there was this person you knew them like this and then all of a sudden they start getting on social media and doing this is like wow their whole image has changed i mean that's what kind of god does it he changes even whenever we get saved you know it's like it's a new you're a new creation you know what i mean you're he put a new song a new 
you know what I mean, thing in your heart. But there's a lot of people that their image has changed, but their heart's not been changed, you know. So we're out there seeking, trying to make ourselves into something that he wouldn't create, he didn't create us to be. So anyway, I just want to continue to seek the things above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Uh, don't bite into these, don't, don't take the bait, don't take the fruit that Satan's given about trying to, uh, sow in discord among families, you know, if a kingdom divided against itself, it can't stand. And you look at strong families that stick together. It's, it's hard to tear them down. It's hard to bring them down. They're all, you know, uh, uh, three, you know, if, if one falls alone, like Solomon said, and, and he has no one to lift him up, woe to him. You know what I mean? But when you got family around you and the strength of, uh, people that really love you. And I know this because I've even been taught even in churches and stuff, people, well, that you know, this is our new family. You know, you've had people teaching that as their family. But I'm telling you, they're never going to stick with you, them people, like your family. If you if you, you get distance from your family for a while, you get back around them and there's just that connection that's just there. You get distance from these people for a while, that even the people you go to church with that say this and this, if they ain't known you your whole life, I'm telling you, the distance is just going to grow. It don't You don't get back around and have the same connection like you do with your family. I mean, I'm saying this is God ordained his sovereignty that give this to us. I truly believe this. So anyway, God bless you all. Have a wonderful day. Love on your families. Overlook things. Uh, forgive. Uh, love endures all things. It believes all things. It hopes all things. Don't lose hope for people in your family. Don't give up. Fight. Fight the good fight of faith, but don't ditch them in the process. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.